is I'm going to show you just how easy it is to set up some of these units into a mesh. Now what I've done here is I've got three units. In this case I'm using the M36s, but they could be M35s, they could be M2000, it makes no difference. Functionality and the setup is nigh on identical for all the products. Uh, the main reason being is they all come from the same chipset family, uh, the only difference is the plastic housing they're put in or the frequency they work out but apart from that they're pretty much identical products so I'm going to start browser up and type in the IP address of uh, default IP address of the unit I've got one on our network here 1.1 .1. and oh Christ I haven't got an IP address set up You are, because you all wanted to know how to do this. How to add an extra IP address to your system. Add 192.168.0.209. Add. Oh, Christ. Let's try that again. 1.1. Enter. We're in. Right. Admin. Admin. <coughs> so I'll say this is an M36. This is what they come with. Come like out of the box. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up three M36s, which is a sort of starting point for a mesh system, onto our network here, and uh, just show you how easy it is to uh, to actually mesh the products. So what I'm going to do is, uh, first of all, I'm going to change the name of these products so we can actually spot what is the difference between the three on the mesh. Um, so system properties. Uh, I'm going to change this one to uh, dash one. Country code. UK. Uh, Click on mesh. Click on apply. And we'll just wait it for it to apply those settings. Okay. Now this thing I'm gonna do is gonna change the IP addresses. Obviously, if you've got three units connected to your network, <coughs> and the network could be a mesh, obviously that's part of a network, you don't want all three on the same IP address because they'll be clashing with each other. So what we're going to do now is just change the IP address. So um, eventually when it comes up, come on. Okay, so it's on by default on 1.1. One one, and I'm going to change this one to 0 0.2.30. That's part of our standard network here. So that's on 0 0.2.30. To apply. What I'll do is I'll set the other ones at 231 and 232 respectively. Wait for it to reboot. And rather helpfully it's automatically brought us back to the 230, that's the new IP address. So admin, admin, enter. So now let's go look at the um, wireless settings. Now, uh, remember, by default, you want them all to be on the same channel. They've got to be on the same channel because they're all a single radio and they need to be able to see each other. So obviously you want to pick a channel which is uh, as free as possible from interference from all the other Rabble um, Wi-Fi users out there. And what we're going to do is, you notice we have two SSIDs, or two different sets of SSIDs. We have um, the mesh SSID which is, uh, I'm going to leave it set as an ingenious mesh. There's no security on this. Notice this gateway tick box. Well, as I say, I can't really see why on earth it's there. It doesn't seem to do any good at all, and I haven't got a sensible reply from ingenious about whether you do or do not need it. So as far as I'm concerned, um, I just leave it unticked. If I click on edit on here, this is how you would change the SSID of the mesh, and also you can change around with the security. Now, it only allows WEP on the mesh security, 
but um, security on the meshing backbone is not really a big issue because A, it's a, a peer to peer network, so uh, clients can't readily connect to it. The other thing about it is that it will only accept a connection from another meshing unit. So um, the chance of anybody actually being able to hack into it is extremely remote, but it has got web security uh, as an option on here if you need it. Come on, come out of here. Right, now if you look at the SSIDs, <coughs> what I'm going to do uh, to make life easier uh, so we can see the three um, uh, mesh nodes on the network is I'm going to give each of them a separate SSID uh, for the AP part. Now this is the part that the clients see, this is the part that the people with the notebooks see, in their caravans see, or whatever. So this is the SSID that the normal users see. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just to say going to set up three separate different SSIDs just to make life easier. You can suppress the SSID if you want. You can also uh, enable station separation. That means that two people logged into the same node can't see each other. Um, actually, that's probably a useful thing to tick if you actually are setting up a mesh for public access. And on the AP side, you've got all the usual WEP and WPA2 security. Um, so you can set that up if you want to do, and we'll just save that. So that's all set up now and saved. Um, and that is basically it. So I'm going to click on Apply now to apply those changes. Wait for it to reboot. Just waiting for that one to come back up again. So that's 2.30 come back up again. Go back to the status page. So as you can see here what we have is a mesh and it's on address 2.30 uh, etc etc etc. Now what I should be able to do is if I click on client list you can see that it's picking up the other mesh nodes. All right. So um, literally, we didn't have to do very much there, and you now see that we've got um, three clients, that's three mesh nodes, all talking to each other. I think you've got to admit that was pretty damn easy, but just to prove it further, what I'm going to do is, I'll say this one's 2.30. Now, previously on the network, to make life a little bit easier, I also pre-configured the 2.31 and the 2.32 unit. So if I do 192.1, 168.0.231 admin admin so that's uh, that's coming up now we're actually talking to that through the mesh so we're actually uh, land connected to 230 and we're talking to 231 through the mesh backbone and I'll just prove how easy it is and I'll type in the 232 which is the other unit on the mesh network admin admin Admin, admin, enter. And there's 232. So we can now, let's get rid of that. Uh, right. So now we can actually have all three nodes on the network through the mesh. I'm not interested in that. And if we go look at where the client, there is there's the client list on that one. And we'll look at the client list on that one. So you can see 65, 6F6D. 65 6F 6D, 65 6F 6D. So you can see that we've got all three units here on the same network. So um, that really wasn't hard, was it? Um, now